Hey everyone, today I have a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to install this Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition CPU cooler on an AM4 socket. We're gonna be doing this on a Ryzen 7 5800X that I have right here on my Gigabyte X570 Oros Elite Wi-Fi gaming motherboard. So we'll show you exactly how to do this today. It should be pretty easy. But hey, if you are new here, my name is Ken. This is Northern Viking Every Day, and we bring you videos on reviews and how-tos. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into installing this Cooler Master CPU cooler. So one quick thing I should mention is I did pick up all these PC parts from the store. I will have links below in the description if you do wanna grab them for yourself or find more information. But let's go ahead and get started. So let's have a quick look at the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition. You can see there's the fan here on the one side. On the other side, you get a better look at the radiator. Down here at the bottom is where it connects with your CPU. We're gonna leave that sticker on for now. There's also the cable right here that you would connect to your motherboard. Let's go ahead and remove the fan by popping the clips on either side. We'll put it back on at the end. It's just so much easier to work with without the fan installed. These are the components we're not gonna be using today. These are for an Intel build. You can pause it here and have a closer look. The components we are using today are the two straight brackets. We've got the back plate, which is both for AMD and Intel builds, just depending on the side you use. We've got the four screws with square heads on them. They're flat on the one end. We've got the four standoff nuts. We've got the two tiny little screws. We've got the black little clips. These are the smaller clips. We've got the standoff nut tightening tool. And of course, the thermal paste. So let's go ahead and prepare the back plate before we prepare the cooler. On one side it says AMD. On the other side it says Intel. With the AMD side facing you, we're gonna put the four flathead screws in these four holes. The other holes are for an Intel build. The other thing we're gonna do is slide the screws out towards the edges. This is for an AM4 socket. If you're using a different socket, consult the manual. You can go ahead and start installing the flathead screws. One, two, and the flathead of the screw kind of gets hidden in a channel making it flush, three and four. And you can see I've got them pushed out towards the edges for the AM4 socket. Grab the four clips and you can start clipping them into place as well. One, two, three, and four. And your back plate is now ready to install. From there, let's prepare the CPU cooler. Grab the bracket, you'll see a little lip on it. That's gonna face the cooler. And when you put it in the slot here, it should just pop into place, just like that. And then we'll grab our tiny little screw and put it in from the bottom side and tighten that down with a Phillips screwdriver. And then you've got the first side done. Let's flip it around and do the second side. And the same thing here, make sure that lip is facing the cooler, put it in the track and it should just pop right into place. Grab that tiny little screw, put it in the hole from the bottom and tighten it down with a Phillips screwdriver. And you are all done assembling your cooler. The next thing we need to do is remove the two brackets on my motherboard. They're not needed for this build. There's two screws holding each of them on and they hold on the back plate that is currently on the motherboard. And if you lift up your motherboard, it should leave the old backplate behind. We're gonna install the new backplate so you can lay that down and then very carefully lower your motherboard down, making sure the screws go right through the holes on your motherboard. Next, grab the four threaded standoffs and we're gonna tighten these on the screws coming through your motherboard that are holding on the backplate. You can tighten them down. We're just gonna hand tighten them for now. You can do all four of them. So one, two, three, and four. And then find the tool that came in the box. It's got a Phillips head on it and it fits right over those standoffs. We're gonna use this to tighten them down. So grab a Phillips screwdriver and you can tighten down all four of the standoffs with this tool. There's number three, 
and number four. Now to the most controversial part of this video, the applying of thermal paste. Let the YouTube comments begin. I'm gonna be using an X method with four dots. Some people use a P, some a line, some a happy face, some swipe it with their credit card. Whatever you choose, you'll have to make the decision on your own. I'll put a link to a video that I use to help me decide in the description below. We're finally ready to install the CPU cooler. Go ahead and remove the protective film from the bottom. One thing I should mention is when you install this, make sure the Cooler Master logo is pointed in the correct direction so that it's not upside down when you install your motherboard. Go ahead and carefully lower it down, lining up the screws with the standoffs and give the first screw in the corner just a couple turns and then go to the opposite corner and do the same thing. You are gonna to wanna to follow this tightening star pattern just a couple turns at a time to apply even pressure as you're tightening down the screws. We're back onto the fourth screw now and then go back to the original screw, give it a couple of turns, diagonally across to the second screw. Again, a couple of turns and over to the third screw until they're all tight. Here's another look at that pattern, just so you don't forget. Next up, we need to reinstall the fan on the cooler. Make sure the rubber feet are pointed in the direction of the radiator. And also make sure that the cable coming out of it is in the right spot for easy connection to your motherboard. Grab the fan clips that we removed earlier and place the ends through the holes on the fan. And then pry it back and pop it in the channel on the radiator of the cooler. The same thing on the other side, place the ends through the hole on the fan, bend it back and pop the clip into the channel. Our last step is to plug the fan cable into the motherboard in the CPU fan slot. Make sure you plug it in in the correct direction. If you're not sure where this slot is on your motherboard, double check in your manual. Other than some basic cable management, you are done installing your Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition CPU cooler on your motherboard. So I hope this video was able to help you install your Coolmaster Hyper 212 Black Edition CPU cooler on an AM4 socket. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.